All right, everybody. It's coughing season. You know what that means. It's time to sit back, get fat, and fall in love. Guys, now that summer's over, EDM festivals are at an all-time low. It's starting to snow outside. You're gaining back those pesky pounds. I'm going to tell you one thing, and that's to avoid falling in love, okay? Love is bad. Don't hurt me no more. You're going to get hurt because it's cuffing season. So I'm going to teach you five ways to stay away from cuffing season, all right? Step one, don't leave home. Don't even go to work. Don't even leave your bedroom. I mean, take a shower once in a while. Brush your teeth. But don't. Like, don't even go, your kitchen is kind of far. I wouldn't even do that. Somebody could see you in there. Uh, you could possibly make a fantastic smelling meal, which would, then your neighbors would, they would come over and they might knock on your door. Don't, don't even cook, you know? And, and this is where it gets tricky. Order all of your food via online services, but don't have them delivered by people. You don't want to see anybody for like four months. You're going to get hungry. You're going to get thirsty. Don't go to the store. Just don't, don't even, don't get in your car. You sell your car, you know, sell your house and just move to another neighborhood and just where there's no, where there's no people. Don't leave your house. Step number two, delete social media, delete all of it. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Pinstagram. I meant Pinterest, Twitter. Twitter especially. You don't you, you don't want people knowing your thoughts right now. Although it seems that every okay, just delete them all. Your Tinder, delete the Tinder. Get rid of that. You can almost get rid of that forever. Bumble, don't 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 just don't. Number three. That's the ultimate silent killer, and it's right here. We all know what the double Y means, so you're not fooling anybody, Gracie. They don't care how you are. So stay away from this message. If you get a message like this, you reply back, I'm terrible. Uh, the diseases are catching up to me slowly. I have less than a year to live. Sup? You know, I'm guilty of saying this, but I say it to my dude friends. And even my dude friends are like, dude, don't. Don't say that. Sup, Tom? How you doing, man? Not good now. I was okay until you said sup. Tip number four. Get fat, like get really fat. Get fat as sh Get like, you wanna be so large, not even your own mother loves you. Because here's the thing, I know it's unhealthy, it doesn't look good, causes health problems, but it's really good when you're trying to be lonely and unloved. Cuffing season is something that we need to take extreme measures for. Get fat, okay. All right, you think you could do that. You don't know. All right, I don't, oh. Some people, we don't even have to work on this. This just happens. Like, for me, I just, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, how did I, how did I gain five, eight pounds? But I think there's just food particles that float and they get in my mouth when I sleep and then I snore them in and I gain tons and tons of weight. I don't work out at all. Like, if I didn't have to leave a chair, I would totally do that all day. So this has gone on for too long. We'll go to the next one. All right. I can't explain to you how important step number five is. <laughs> Don't even think about going back to your ex. Do not. They're going to try and text you. They're going to try and call you. They're going to be like, hey, what's up, honey? I miss you. How you darn? You know what you say? Psh, I don't need you. I don't need you, Terrell. I don't, I don't need you, Clarice. I don't need you, Beatrice. Get out of my life. Oh, now the family wants you over for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Would you look how convenient that is? It's not convenient. You know what? Presents and gifts and turkey and food. Don't even try to go over to your exes. Don't let your ex come over. Don't let anybody come over. Not even your friend. Your family, don't let your family come over for certain because they're going to be like, wow, look how fat and lonely you look. You need love in your life. And you're just going to say, no, I don't. Uh, I need food. Don't. Just don't go back to your ex. I got a bonus for you guys, okay? Bonus step number six. If your friends text you and they're like, hey, you look alone, cut them off. If your friend texts you and they're like, hey, uh, I got this girl, maybe, or this guy you should go out on a date with, cut them off. Or if your friend texts you like, hey, you know, I've noticed that you haven't been coming to work or school and, you know, you haven't left your house, cut them off. And your family, they're like, hey, you know, I'm really worried about you and I think you should see a counselor. Cut them off. Cut everybody off. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's really bad. <laughs> Don't cut everybody off. Sometimes. Cut them off for a day or two. Go back to your life though go to work go to I mean 
go <laughs> do things, you know? You know, don't listen to me, number one, ever, about anything. All right, cool. Yep, step six, bonus step. Bonus step six. And that is it for my singles out there trying to stay warm, cozy, and alone for a cuffing season. And shout out to all my people in relationships, getting married and doing all that stuff. It's great. Good job. I'm fan like, it's great. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Never been happier. All right. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Check me out on Snapchat and Instagram. Make sure that you like, follow, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your single buddy, Tim. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Yeah.